up guys? Welcome to another episode of XO to SO. I'm Anthony Giovanni and this is my series on spirituality, faith, and religion. Today I want to talk about more detail as to uh, the title of this series, this series XO to SO. What, what I mean by that is exoteric to esoteric. All right? There's an author named Frithjof Schuon and he's got a pretty rare book called The, Tr the Transcendental Unity of Religions and it's a book that um, I've read once already, I'm reading through it again, and it's just each time I find new stuff because it's it's pretty lofty reading. I read a lot, um, and it's hard to grasp sometimes. But at its core concept, Frith Joff and Shuan, Shuan's, his outlook on religion is pretty dang unique. And here's how it goes, and I've adopted it as my outlook as well because I think it helps add to my overall what I feel is in my heart as like a goal uh, to attain. But I'll start with just what Shuan talks about and where the whole XO to SO comes from. So, Shuan breaks down religions and he has them, you gotta imagine this graph forming, all originating from one center point, point. that's God or the absolute truth. And from there they come down into rays of like sections, okay? And each section is each different religion, Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, whatever you want to put, Taoism, okay? Now, for the most part, that's where most people view religions, right there, just blocked off like that. Where Shuan's different is he comes through and he cuts all of them horizontally across in the middle. And he creates an upper level and a lower level. The upper level being esoteric, the lower level being exoteric faith. Esoteric faith, exoteric faith in any one of those religions. That's how he's broken that down. So that to him is the true difference in all religions as an esoteric. So here, here let me explain a bit more. So, and it's not to say that esoteric is, you know, better than exoteric faith uh, following. To me, I think it's the more, uh, the, the one faith concept or the one faith belief that is the least dividing. Uh, I, I view religion, I, I mentioned in my first video to not call this a series on religion because I don't think religion is the best word because religion is man-made and it divides man. We fight over religion. We fight over the politics of religion, all right? So faith is something higher than religion. And esoteric faith views all religions as such, but it's, it sees them as uh, finding truth in all their forms, you know? So each religion has its own form, each mythology has its own forms that it follows, each its own prophet that it follows. Esoteric faith-based following says that, hey, those are all, they're all true and they all lead, there's parts of them that all lead back to the absolute truth. Below that is exoteric faith, and it's way more rigid. The lines drawn between the religions is far more bolder and a lot more concrete. And that's for people that, you know, truly believe that, hey, I'm I'm this, I'm Christ follower, and this is the only way, this is the only true way, okay? And I'm not saying either one is wrong, but I do believe for us to become less, I look around in my life, in my society, um, my family, my friends, just the world out there. We have so much division. We have people can't even come to a, a, a dinner table and talk about who you voted for, or you know your faith, or how you view a God, or your concept of God, or I have this question, or I have this outlook, without fighting and taking it personal, because we take opinion as fact. And if we could all just evolve from possibly being so rigid in our beliefs to a bit more esoteric, a bit more able to see the truths in certain religions or truths in some certain aspects like you know maybe I don't fully agree with that but I do see where you come from or some certain truths in that would be so much more less dividing and take things so much more less personal so Shuan goes on to say that um, neither one is really right obviously esoteric is the one that's least dividing but here's the thing as an esoteric you can't just you can't just say that they're all true and float between all of them because that kind of gets you nowhere either it really puts you in a, in a label of agnostic and I know this because I've been an agnostic before and for those of you who don't know being an agnostic basically is essentially that you just believe that there's that all religions are right or that like eat like really you can't point one out as the true religion there's a couple things to this so Shuan goes on to say that as an esoteric you should be wanting to de dive deeper into the truths of the forms of the religions to find the absolute truth to find God in your life inwardly and around you only way to do this is to abide by the rules of one of the exoteric faiths. So you have to choose one of the faiths as an esoteric. If you find yourself, you know, I do agree with being more esoteric in my faith-based following. That's great. You have to go regularly to a church, whether that's 
you're a Muslim or a Christian or Buddhist because those forms now of that religion become windows, they become doorways for you to contemplate and dive deeper into um, the truths that they hold behind them and those truths that ultimately lead to the absolute truth, which is God. For me, I'm a bit, I am esoteric, but I abide by the Christian forms of esoteric faith-based following. Okay, that, and that's, it helps me the best because it helps me do just that, which is see their forms, see their practices, see their words, see their God, see church as forms and windows to the absolute truth, which is God. Now, on top of that, this is personal. Having studied all these religions that I've studied, studied a ton, to me, Christianity is the only one that has a redemptive quality, where there is redemption. The others are based on actions, on you trying to attain nirvana, on you trying to become the way or the Tao or the endless Tao, on you trying to become like a prophet. And at the end of the day, we're human, and because of the original sin, we'll always fail. Christianity is the only one that I've found that says, we know you're going to fail. And that's why Jesus was sent. And that's why I'm a Christian. Anyway, we'll get more into my personal beliefs later. And I'd love to talk to you guys about it. And debate about it in a loving way. Because that's the only way we should do it. But that's a bit more as to the name of this series. Exo from et to Exo to Esso. What I'm meaning is Esoteric to Esoteric. Because I do believe that we all need to start taking our Exoteric minds. When it comes to faith. When it comes to politics. We're so rigid. We're so opinionated. And loosening them and widening them a bit and becoming more softer as an, with an esoteric faith and an esoteric outlook, all right? That's it for today, guys. Please comment below if you've got questions. Message me if you've got questions. Follow me, uh, subscribe to the channel, and like and share this video if you liked it. I'd love to hear from you, and uh, please come again. I'll have way more videos on religion coming soon, as well as my vlog. 